Hey, internet people. Ever sit in a plane looking out as you're taxiing for takeoff and wonder what those signs are that you see? Some with numbers, some with letters. Then you get on the runway and there are numbers there too. A YouTube creator named CGP Gray just did a video talking about the big numbers. The ones on the runway that you probably would never see from the plane, but maybe you would as they're at the end of the runways painted on the tarmac. He took over 17 minutes to explain what they are and I'll try to do that much quicker. Those big numbers denote the runway number, which matches the magnetic direction the plane must be heading to to land, minus the end digit. So if a plane needs to fly at 170 degrees, the pilot would need to land on runway 17. Easy. Why did it take him 17 minutes and get almost 4 million views in just over a month? Anyways, there's a little more to that, like if there are parallel runways and such, but that's what the big numbers correspond to. If you're on the runway, which you can tell by the white dashed lines in the center, there are signs alongside with big numbers on black backgrounds. That indicates how many thousands of feet of the runway are left. So if you start taking off and see a big 7, then a 6, then a 5, then holy cow, we're in the air and I didn't see 4. That means the plane had a little more than 4,000 feet left until the end. That's a clue that you're on the runway, white lines down the sides and the dash center line. On the taxiways and parking ramps, they should all be yellow. Yep, that's right. The 10 minutes of taxiing between the gate and the runway that feels like you're just circling the airport. While doing that, you're likely to see some signs with black letters on yellow or yellow on black. Well, the yellow letter on black indicates what taxiway you're on. You're probably not very likely to see something like that as a passenger, but you will more likely see the black letters on yellow signs which state what taxiway you're coming upon or the direction to one. Taxiways are denoted by letters like A, B, or C. Some airports are rather large and could have letters doubled up like AC or DC. Oh wait, that's electric! On a recent trip through Chicago O'Hare, I saw taxiways there like FF, BB, AA, T6, A9, some large airports can have lots of taxiways. This black and yellow signage also works for some runways. A yellow sign with black numbers should point the way to a particular runway. If you see a black sign with yellow numbers on it though, that should indicate what runway you are on. Some other yellow signs indicate what direction incoming aircraft should go, which way to exit a runway or taxiway, the runway safety or obstacle free zone boundary, and the ILS critical area boundary. Okay, some of the rather important signs are white lettering or numbers on red backgrounds. The signs before were all informational, while these indicate things you must do along most of the time with location information. These will be right before a taxiway enters a runway. Red signs with white numbers on it like 17 or 17-35 indicate to hold before entering the runway or runway intersection if at a bigger airport. If you see one like 17-APCH, it is also a hold sign saying to hold off for approaching aircraft before entering or crossing runway 17. There is also one that will say ILS, that is a hold before an ILS critical area, or with one that looks kind of like a ladder, which is also a ILS hold line. You can see some other signs pointing to areas like apron, or a number with how far it is to a point, or something like that. Those are normally black lettering on yellow, but might not be at every airport. Likewise, you might see red taxiway hold signs along with yellow and black location signs. So those are the big signs on an airfield or, or at an airport that you might see. How would I know? Well, I used to be licensed to drive out on these areas and I had to study and know what they all meant. I've also verified them against some visual aids I'd found online as that was a few years ago. Now you can use that knowledge to annoy your seatmate, or you could just be like me, pick an aisle seat and fall asleep while taxiing and wake up on takeoff. I worked on some of these drawings while I was traveling through an airport too. Oh, did you see Sam Monella is back? On October 3rd, after a few years, he finally posted another video. In a week's time, it had amassed over 5 million views. Will we ever see any more? Unknown, he said he would see us in 2025. With the return of Sam, it begs the question, should I create a new channel as an academy of my own? That's it for now. 
I really hope you enjoyed this video. No sponsors, no super long story, just the facts, and some badly drawn illustrations. It really helps if you like and comment. I appreciate it too. Until next time, I'm Good Monkey, and thanks for watching. A little more than 4,000 feet left in. 4,000 feet? Mm -hmm.